today we will practice some problems on heating of electrical machines as we know the equation for a machine under heating is given by theta is equal to theta m into 1 minus e raised to minus t by th into theta i into e raised to minus t by th where theta is the temperature rise of the machine and theta m is the final steady state temperature rise of the machine under heating and theta i is the initial temperature rise of the machine but if the machine is started from cold conditions theta i is equal to zero as we have already discussed so theta is equal to theta m into 1 minus e raised to minus t by th is the uh, general equation similarly if the machine is allowed to cool, then a similar equation can be written as theta is equal to theta c into 1 minus e raised to minus t by tc plus theta i into e raised to minus t by tc. The equation is uh, almost similar, only the two terms theta c and theta i are different. Similarly, the uh, heating time constant is replaced by cooling time constant. So, let's see what is theta c. Theta c is the final steady state temperature rise uh, after cooling and theta i is the initial temperature rise of the machine but when the when uh, the machine is allowed to cool for a long time then the temperature of the machine will reach ambient temperature so there is no difference between ambient temperature and the uh, temperature of the machine so theta c that is the final steady state temperature rise becomes zero so the equation becomes theta i is equal, sorry theta equal to theta i into e raised to minus t by tc so this is the general equation for cooling only if the machine is uh, allowed to cool up to ambient temperature and this is the uh, cooling curve of the machine similar to temperature rise time curve so let's consider the first question here the temperature uh, the, qu the question is temperature rise of a transformer is 25 degrees celsius after one hour and 37.5 degrees celsius after two hours of starting from cold conditions calculate its final steady state temperature rise and the heating time constant the second case is if its temperature falls from final steady state value to 40 degrees celsius in 1.5 hours when disconnected calculate the cooling time constant ambient temperature is given as 30 degrees celsius so we have to consider two cases heating as well as cooling so first of all consider let's consider the case of heating so first we will write the heating equation uh, since the uh, machine is started from cold conditions theta i equal to 0 so the heating equation becomes theta is equal to theta m into 1, 1 minus e raised to minus t by th so this equation can be applied to two cases that is when the temperature of the transformer is raised to 25 degrees celsius after one hour and 37.5 degrees celsius after two hours we have to consider two different cases so the equation uh, we can up, uh, substitute these values in this equation now uh, let's write down those values that is theta equal to 25 degrees celsius for t equal to one hour and theta is equal to 37.5 degrees celsius for t equal to 2 hours now let's uh, apply these values to the general equation so first case is 25 degrees celsius for t equal to 1 hour and second case 37.5 degrees celsius for t equal to 2 hours so we have two equations and two unknowns theta m and th so it's easy to solve then equation number 2 is divided by equation number 1 then we will get like this that is on the left hand side we will get 1.5 and on the right hand side we will get two terms 
in the bracket that is 1 minus a raised to minus 2 by th and 1 minus a raised to minus 1 by th now uh, we have to simplify this equation for that purpose we are multiplying the numerator and denominator by 1 plus a raised to minus 1 by th then the equation becomes 1.5 equal equals uh, 1 plus a raised to minus 1 by th so we can solve this equation uh, for th for that first of all we will bring this 1 to left hand side that is 1.5 minus 1 so we will get 0.5 on the left hand side 0.5 is equal to e raised to minus 1 by th so we will take the logarithm natural logarithm ln of 1 point uh, sorry 0.5 equals ln my e raised to minus 1 by th Then the equation becomes like this. Then th can be calculated as 1.443 house. When th is obtained, it will be in house. No, no, need, no need to convert to any other unit. It will be in house. Then from equation number 1 or 2, you can substitute either in 1 or 2. Uh, you will get the equation, uh, the value of theta m as 50 degree Celsius. So that is a final steady state temperature rise. TH is the heating time constant. So we have calculated the two values required for first part of the question. So second part is for cooling. Now let's consider the case of cooling. This is the equation for cooling. In this case, a theta i means the initial temperature rise when the machine starts to cool. But it was uh, already uh, defined that it's a, the machine was disconnected when the temperature rise of the machine is equal to the final steady state temperature rise of the machine uh, under heating. So it was already calculated that the value of final steady state temperature rise of the machine is equal to theta m equal to 50 degrees Celsius. So, we can see that under cooling, the value of theta i is equal to 50 degree Celsius. Now, uh, let's see what is the value of theta. When disconnected, the temperature rise from ambient temperature is theta is equal to 40 minus 30 is equal to 10 degree Celsius. Now, uh, since the machine is shut down, that means it is not heated again. And since the machine is allowed to cool completely, the final steady state temperature rise theta z is equal to 0. So, the equation is theta is equal to theta i into a raised to minus t by tc. So, we can easily calculate the value of tc here. So, we are going to substitute all the um, given values. That is, theta is 10 degree Celsius, theta i is 50, e raised to minus t is time taken for cooling the machine. That is 1.5 divided by tc. So, tc is equal to uh, 0 0.932 hours. Now, uh, let's consider the second question. Here, uh, the initial temperature rise of a machine is 40 degrees Celsius. Calculate the temperature rise and the temperature of the machine after one hour. If its steady state temperature rise is 80 degrees Celsius and heating time constant is 2 hours. Ambient temperature is given as 30 degrees Celsius. So, uh, here we can see that the machine is not started from cold conditions. Initial temperature of the machine is 40 degree Celsius and the ambient temperature is 30 degree Celsius. So, we have to calculate the initial temperature rise of the machine. So, uh, let's do the problem step by step. First of all, we will write the equation for heating. This is the equation for heating and we have to consider the second term because theta i is not equal to 0. 
so the values given the, uh, the steady state temperature rise of the machine is 80 so theta m is 80 and the heating time constant is 2 hours so th is 2 hours and the time taken for heating is given as 1 hour initial temperature rise of the machine is equal to 40 degrees celsius that is the initial temperature of the machine minus ambient temperature of the machine that is equal to 10 degree celsius so let's find the temperature rise after one hour by substituting in the general equation uh, the value of theta m is given as 80 the value of time t is one hour and value of th heating time constant is two hours and the value of theta i is 10 so by substituting all these values we will get theta as 37.54 degree celsius so theta is the temperature rise after one hour but we have to calculate the temperature of the machine after one hour so we have to add the ambient temperature to theta so the temperature of the machine after one hour is equal to ambient temperature plus 37.54 that is 67.54 degrees celsius and that's the final answer thank you